Alright, well today I'm going to do a temperature rise test on the furnace, my ream furnace. Uh, it is 14 degrees outside and 64.8 down here in the basement uh, at 12.49 p.m. Um, basically what I did was I took my, had my all test temp probe here. It's really designed for automotive, but it'll work for anything that has a temperature that goes up to like up to 2500 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're plenty good on that. And uh, it just hooks right into a multimeter, any multimeter, and you put it to like either 20 volts DC or 2000 if you want to see the point decimal. So that's 64.4. Um, I also got a cheap thermometer I picked up at Harbor Freight. It's dead on accurate. I tested it. We have 71.8 degrees right now on that one. This is a supply. It's located, it's not located right above the heat exchanger where I know most people put them. And I know that's you could throw the reading off a little bit, but instead it's right on the supply that goes off to those vents and the rest of the house. There's also another supply going that way, but it doesn't matter. All we need is test one here. I just drilled two holes and this one fits really snug in there. It's not falling out or anything. Um, I just got to prepare couple more things and then I'll be ready to fire it up. Alright, be right back. Um, I'm hoping my return air is sufficient enough with this one blocked off. Because this one is right behind, the blower is right behind here and since it's in the basement here it's about 10 degrees colder and I don't want it to throw off my reading. Um, so I close that off. We should have enough return but if we don't we'll know with temperatures if it starts to rise or if it's not enough airflow. But usually I think it's pretty good with this one blocked off. It doesn't really make much difference because we got enough a big enough return duct. Let's um fire up and see what happens. Right, so here we go. Sixty-five right now on their turn and seventy-one foot four in supply. Let's just wait for it to start up before we get any real temperatures. I'll let it warm up for fifteen minutes and I'll uh, get back to you guys. for it to warm up and then okay it's gonna run about 10 minutes now and we got 70 on the return and we're still climbing a little bit we're looking at 121.6 on the supply so if you do that and that's minus 70. so far it's 51 degree temperature difference and we're looking for 40 to 70 so no higher than 70 but climb lower than 40 uh, she's still climbing I got set to 70 2 degrees on a thermostat so if this is right it shouldn't be too much longer a few more degrees before it shuts off the system it is warmer up this one's so, so far that supply that's closed off doesn't seem to be causing a problem. I think there's still plenty of return air. Um, I did crack it just a little bit on the end, which is not going to make much difference. It's warming up in the basement pretty quick, too. This basement's decently insulated, so... And the furnace is on fan speed is medium high, which I want to bump down to medium low 
and I want to move the air conditioning for the summer on medium high instead of high because it doesn't remove enough humidity and the furnace just seems to be pumping out warm air way too fast. It just seems to be heating up faster than I would like it to. It's okay, but I might move it. It's climbing. 123 to 71. Okay, so it's only a degree difference. I think that's where we're sitting. Uh, I think we sit at 52 degrees for the the speed or the temperature difference. 52 degree temperature rise, which is just great because it's right in the middle between the limit, which is It's a 75,000 BTU furnace, 80%, three burners. I get scared up in my hand next to those, I know it's hot. So yeah, we're looking at a 123 to 71, which is about a 52 degree difference. Alright, well. I'll be right back in a second. Alright, furnace is shut off now. Cooled down to about 90 and 71 still. I'm dropping on the return. So we're looking for a 30 to 40 to 70 degree temperature difference and highest I seen I saw about 120 no wait 125 I saw 72 when I turned it off so it's a 53 degree difference that's pretty good considering they want it between 40 and 70 so it's almost just in the middle it also means that if I wanted to, I could, I probably could lower the blower speed one speed down and still be okay. Um, not sure if I'm going to do that right now, but if I do, I will test it again and see what I can get. Because I don't think it needs to be this high. I think it could run a little warmer without a problem. The high limit switch on this turns off at about 170. So, you know, as long as it starts getting higher than that, I'm guessing they don't want it to get over 150 temperature. And, uh, we're far away from that. But yeah, all I see is the 170, right? Let me get my light. Right. It's hard to read. You can't. This camera's so bad at focusing. It doesn't. It doesn't focus at all. But it says 170, right? All right. Right around there somewhere. So um, yeah, we're we're doing good on the temperature rise. I just want to make a video showing how to how to do it and the right way to do it. But just always make sure to look at your uh, temperature rise on your furnace to know what what the difference is because uh, different furnaces they have different temperature rises and 
on this one just so happens to be 40 to 70 but yours could be different could be 30 to 80 it could be even higher than that but just make sure you follow that and uh Be careful when you do it if you decide to do it. Yeah, that's uh, that's all I want to show you. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe, comment, rate.